how do I calculate the correct amount of chemicals to adjust my pool chemistry? Now, I'm going to give you a couple of answers here. The first answer, one, carefully. <laughs> of course, you know, when you're working with chemicals, you have to be careful. But that leads into my second answer here. So you're searching for information. How much do I, you know, add for this or that? And the problem is, is that there could be a miscommunication somehow be between you and I. And you follow my instructions. You add what you think you're supposed to be adding. And we get a result which is anywhere from now nah, what we were expecting all the way up into including very, very dangerous. And so this is why the real answer to your question is you followed the instructions on the bottle of the chemicals that you are using. Nobody sells swimming pool chemicals without instructions on them for specifically how to use them. And it's that way for a reason, because there's subtle differences that you, you might not notice, but it totally makes a difference. And that's why you don't just, you know, even verbally, so you have to read it. And it's not even just to have like, oh, I have a similar thing. Mine says to do this. Read it off the bottle. It's the safest, most reliable way to do it. And the actual way to approach it would be, you've got a 25,000 gallon pool. So I how do I do this? You know, you need to, it'll say on the bottle for... 10,000 gallons, often a number it'll give it as, as an example, to increase five parts per million in a 10,000 gallon pool, add X amount of chemical to the water. That's usually the way in which it's structured. So you do that, you figure out how much you need for that result in 10,000 gallons, and in your 25,000 gallon pool, you would times that by 2.5 to give you the end result for what you need. So although I'm not giving you the, the actual formula or measured amounts to add in so that you know, I'm giving you the fundamental reason why you shouldn't shop around for that information. And, and every product does come with dosing instructions on it. It would be a good idea to follow them. It's just a safe protocol to adopt in general. If you found this information helpful, please be sure to like this video and subscribe to my YouTube channel. And you can check out my website, swimmingpoolsteve.com.